complete understanding of what God was up to in the world. God delivers us through Jesus from death to abundant life. I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Just as God delivered the Israelites from hopelessness to hope-filledness. Are you hungry this morning? Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Are you angry? The psalmist reminds us that God is slow to anger and steadfast in love and faithfulness so we can give the things that make us angry over to God. Jesus said it was okay to get angry. Remember Jesus in the temple? Turning over tables? But he had a righteous indignation. He said, my father's house is to be a house of prayer for all people. Not a marketplace. Even Jesus demonstrated anger, but reminded us that God is slow to anger, steadfast in love and faithfulness. Are you lonely and afraid? Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Are you tired? Jesus says, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Despite our moaning and groaning, God still loves us. I'm always left uh, without words knowing that God doesn't want to just save us from the stupid things we've done in our life when we're impulsive because we're hungry and angry and lonely and tired, but that God also wants to bless us with all kinds of things that we don't deserve. And here's the thing. We're all in the wilderness, whether we want to admit it or not. Everyone is hungry, angry, lonely, and tired sometime. We have no idea what other people are going through. So it's up to us to be slow to anger, steadfast in love and faithfulness as best as we can. To be patient and kind. God so loved us. May we so love others. Amen. Will you join me in uh, our affirmation of faith? Will you stand with me? It's in your hymnal, number 886, or it's also in your bulletin. We are not alone. We live live in in God's God's world. world. We We believe believe in God. God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope in life in death in life beyond death god is with us we are not alone thanks be to god great is thy faithfulness what a way to end this service hymn number 140 
God, you have promised strength for the weak. You've promised rest for the laborers, light for the way, grace for our trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, and undying love. Creator God, help us to continue in your promise. In your name, all of us say, Amen.